Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a mystery unboxing of some comic books. Um, the comic books that I bought this is um, through eBay. I bought it through um, a, a vendor called Silverback. Um, I believe his name is uh, Silverback Graphics. Um, so he sells them for $35 each um, per mystery box. Uh, it, mystery boxes can range from 8 to 10 comics. Um, they do have some hits inserted into random, uh, random um, boxes. Include keys, first issues, sign books, and slabs. Also, he has a um, in one of the boxes that of 20 that he sell, he's selling. Um, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 300. Um, it's rated by CGC at a 9.6. Um, I looked on eBay to see what that was actually going for. It's going for about 75 to 80 dollars, um, including um, plus shipping added to that, which is not bad. Uh, that's easy to make my money back because I bought these um, comic books for 70. All right, so 35 and 35 to 70. All right, so I bought two. All right, um, he put the two boxes into one box. So I got both of them in this one box. So I have a better chance of maybe getting that spectacular uh, Spider-Man. I love comic books. Um, I've always bought comic books. I have a lot of comic books. Um, i give you a scenario. Uh, I like to go to comic book stores and just browse through their dollar bins, and usually you find some good deals. Um, this one instance where I went to uh, a local comic book store and um, looked through their dollar bins, and I ran across uh, the Flash, um, but it had all the old Flashes and the new Flashes in there. But that, that's a good comic, though. It had all the different Flashes in it. But I, it was signed by each one of those creators who made those um, Flash um, arts on those comic books from the way back to now. Each one of those Flashes was signed by those authors. That was a good deal as far as I'm concerned. Um, Flash and um, people who um, like Flash, they would love that comic. Uh, I do need to get that sent off to CGC to get it graded. Um, and I found a bunch of other comic books that were signed, uh, first appearances in those dollar bins. Um, and then of course you, I found the other ones and not, not uh, cheap, but I had to have, um, but I like doing, uh, mystery boxes like these. I've been doing it, uh, for a long time. Um, this will be my first one that I made a YouTube about. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to try to make this as, um, suspenseful as possible. Because oh, I can't wait to see what's in there. Um, hopefully, I got the Spider Man. Um, sort of like winning a lottery. I'm never good at lottery. So, but anyways, um, so this will be interesting. Um, so, this is the box that I received. All right. He gives you a, a, um, a hand signed letter. Basically, he says, Welcome to Silverback um, Graphics. You notice it says fragile. Here. And then also it says fragile on the back. I'm gonna hide, hide the, the addresses. Um, there's a silver back, and then of course on the bottom it says fragile. And it says thank you. All right. So that said, we will open up this box and find out exactly what I got. Hopefully something good. All right. Um, I looked at his reviews. All his reviews from the, um, everybody who gave him reviews were high reviews. Um, they were very excited and happy with what they received from these mystery boxes. All right, so I have two mystery boxes. So I can have um, 18 or 20 um, comics. Um, depends on what I got. So it'll be interesting. So we'll go ahead and open this up and find out exactly what I received. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to get my handy dandy little knife. And then we'll go ahead and figure out how to open this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our way. And this shipping is very fast. Um, 
So when he ships them out, he ships them out fast. So A plus to my book and this and this vendor. The person who's selling these. So that's that. That's that. Okay. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, a puzzle. Looks like I need to sharpen my knife. Ah, there we go. I had a peek. I'm sorry. But you can see the two boxes, mystery boxes. There's one and two. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Try to pull them out. Come on. There we go. One box. And two. Alright, so we got two boxes. Alright. Yeah, don't need this no more. I'm going to set that there. Alright, so we got one, two. This one, you label box two, so this one we'll do next. Okay, box two. This has to be box one. Just doesn't say it. He's taped it, he's packaged it very well, very well. So, all right. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we got. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, cover this one. Not. All right, so I won't look. Throw them back in. That's kind of thick. Thick. Don't fill. Don't fill any. Don't fill the other one. CGC one. So, all right, let's see what we got. First one. Cable. So it's right. It's a new one. Uh, December two thousand one. It's in real good condition though. It's Marvel. So it's the first one. Pretty nice. Okay. Different. Okay. That's one. Here's the next one. Marvel Team Art number twelve. Another new one. There you go. I don't know how much this one is going for, but. Two ninety nine, two twenty five on the other one. There's the next one. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's the first one I ever got a Beavis and Butthead. Never got that one before. Next one. I Vampire, 299, number 9, Bite, Pray, Love, hmm. 2012, yeah. interesting, I don't have that one either, next one, that's an old one, now how you know if it's old? If it doesn't have a barcode here, those are the older, either the, you can tell right away that the bar, um, they're older comics. You can see, you can see the barcode here. All right. So this is actually older. This is number seven. It's the Punisher. I know I don't have this one. 
I can get the check too. I'm not sure what we're we'll, we'll in. Part two of two. It's nice. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Next. Yeah, another old one. You can tell by the label. Number nine, Hawkeye. Hellcat. I don't have that either because I don't I never I don't really collect Hawkeye. But I'm curious on the price. So we'll we'll find out when the price is your trouble. Alright, next. How many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then six of them so far. <laughs> next. Next one. Uncanny X Force. I do collect those. Don't look like I have that one. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, that's a good one. We can jump on the barcode. Don't know how many times. All right, next one. Another. Seventy five cents. Okay, so Squadron Supreme. Hmm. 25th anniversary, Marvel. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Next one. Thirty cents. Uh, Monarch. Star Stalker. It's in good shape though. Hmm. I probably won't sell any of these. They're probably all going to be my personal thing. I think. And so far, I didn't know what I see. This one's the same. Uh, uh, thick. Oh wow, this is nice. This is Ghost Rider. It's in a hard case, hard cover. It's kind of worn. It's really seen some damage here. The grading as far as it goes. It's already seen it. It's seen better days. You've seen it worn here. But this is a ghost rider. Hmm. Well, most mysterious western hero from Marvel. Twelve cents. This is an old comic. That I need to check on. This might be a good one. This might be. It's definitely one of my stack. And this one. Oops. Personal thing. Letter. See what it says. Enjoy this gift of Marvel crossover issue from Silverback Graphics. Thank you. Wow, there's a whole bunch of comics in this. Wow. Wow. Nice. All right. Let's see what we got in there. This is nice. Very nice. So I got the letter. Nice. Nice see what we got in here. And you also give me this. Ultra Force Spider Man. Mutants first versus Ultra. Prime Captain America. Nightman versus Gambit. These are all first issues except for one, two, three. 
Gambit number three. There you go. Nice. Nice color on that one. Alright, here's another one. This is a variant. Well, there's two variants. I got the, I got both variants. I have variant 1B. This is uh, Ultra Force versus Spider-Man. And then also I have um, version 1A. Nice, nice, this is very nice. Mutants versus Ultra. So make sure you got them. So you got the back. Nice. And then the last one Captain America. Nice. Hey, this, is, this is very nice. Very good. Very happy with this one. Very happy. All right, so let's put all this stuff back in. That's very nice. Very nice. All right, so we'll have to check on the prices on this. I'll do it at the end, so I'll find out what they're what they're going for. All right. So we'll have to put it back in this box. Down now, just that's it. Now you did a good job backing it. So. All right. Now. The next box, number two, let's see what we got in here. All right. So let's go ahead and. First box is awesome. Very happy with it. All right. Let's go ahead and do the next one. CGC one. Yeah. Outstanding. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Outstanding. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the first comic book. Woo! Oops. Wait a minute. All right. First comic. Squadron Supreme again. Uh, number nine. The last cure. I don't have this one either. Definitely going to stay in my personal collection. Next, check it out. What the other one? Good stuff here. Ghost Rider. I love Ghost Rider. An old one too. Number four. No, it's not that old. Ninety-two. So ninety-two version. Not that old. The original Ghost Rider. Pretty cool. It's nice. I like it. I like it. Next. I got the West Coast Avengers. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have it, so. It's in good shape though. I mean, comics in really good shape. So with all the other ones so far. Alright, next. Looks like a bunch of spiders. Number one issue. 2015. I don't have this one. It's an annual. Sinstro. Sinstro. Yeah. Don't have that one. But 
keep that one for my personal thing. Next. Next. If I need too much glare in it. There we go. Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, number forty-six. Ninety-two. Okay. Yes. Next. This one's kind of thick for uh, these two of them. So it's not so bad. This this cover is kind of different. So it caught a lot. So this one is um, Fallen Angels, number seven. Uh, this one I probably put for sale. Number seven. An eight issue limited series. Eight issue limited series. I don't know. I don't know. I have to look at it. I don't have it. I know that. Ain't something I know I would collect. Okay. Next. Well, That's another old one. Nice. Right. There. This is the man thing. It's old, but not that bad. But it's, it's, they don't have a low rating, that's for sure. I'd have to look at see what the rating is on it. It's in there, the hard uh, plastic inside, so nice. That's a nice one. I always like it and get old comics. There we go. That works better. Uh, let's see. Title issue X Force 2. Oh, that's a key issue. This is the second appearance of Deadpool. This is definitely going to my, um, my personal collection because I like to watch Deadpool. Deadpool's back. Second appearance of Deadpool. Interesting. I don't have that one. No idea. Next. They've all been good comics. Very good comics. Next. That's kind of weird. And it's signed. I have a signature one. Nice. I don't know who that is. Eric Powell? Maybe? From Dark Horse, The Goon? I don't know. Interesting. It's a signed one. Nice. Definitely keeping that one. Next. Got nothing on the back. She Hawk. Number 15. Part 2 of 3. Kind of different. With how the power the duck down here on the bottom. Interesting. I don't know. I might keep that for myself. I don't know. Howard the Duck. Can't go wrong with Howard the Duck. Alright, next. Spirits. Vengeance. Another on uh, offspring kills from them. Oh, huh, this is interesting. I'll keep it on it for the coolness because it uh, goes right around the bottom. Get dragged. It's pretty cool. 
I like it. Oh, there's one of their stickers. So dark. Pretty nice. And dun 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 dun. Okay, here's the CGC one. Oh, it's not the Spider-Man one. It's, um... Teen Titans. You're a villain's crush. I don't know, I have to look that one up. Two men on the back. Pretty cool looking cover though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. It's a high grade, nine point eight. Problem is there. there's a break in the cases. That's probably from shipping. That bites. Nope, I affected affect the cost on that. Oh well. Okay. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Alright, so go ahead and Look up some of these prices and I'll be right back. Hello. Okay. I found out what each one's worth. Um, okay. So this cable one here um, on eBay is going for about four bucks. Um, so I'm just going to give you the eBay prices and what they're going for and what they're selling for. Um, this one, Marvel Teens, uh, three bucks. All right. And shipping, of course, is um, added on to it, so it's three bucks plus shipping. All right, then we got that Beavis and Butthead. All right, we're looking at uh, two bucks, roughly. All right, uh, I Vampire, we're looking at 225. Then we got the um, Punisher versus Wolverine, uh, we're looking at uh, eight bucks. Right. Uh, if I get this graded, it'd be worth a lot more. I probably will because I collect Wolverine. Um, then Hawkeye, I don't think that was worth much. That was like a buck. Then we got the Uncanny X Force. Uh, we're looking at two bucks. Uh, then uh, Squadron Supreme, um, five bucks for this one. Moon Arc. Moon Arc was uh, five bucks. Not bad. Now, the Ghost Rider was, was created back in 1967. Um, Twelve cents. This, if it was a near mint, which is not, would be three hundred. Uh, I I judge it about thirteen bucks for this one. Then the one that we got the assortment of them uh, for this one, Prime, we're looking at five bucks. Uh, for the Mutants, looking at six bucks for this one. Uh, for both Spider Man, both variants, 1A and 1B, ten bucks together. Um, and then, of course, the Night Gambit, we're looking at two bucks. Now, I added all the prices together. Uh, remember, I paid $35 for it, for, the, for the, each one of the mystery boxes. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lowballing it with the, with the 
the prices in eBay. It doesn't compare to what they um, say they actually are. I'm just giving you the eBay price. Uh, we're looking at 68.25, which is not bad. Uh, since I've only paid 35, which, so I'm in the plus. All right, that's good. All right. So now for the box two, I couldn't find this being graded anywhere in uh, eBay. Um, so I'm predicting this in between 20 and 35 bucks for this one. But I'm going to go on the low end and say 20. Then we got the um, Ghost Rider, which I thought was pretty cool. Three bucks for this one. What's going for on the eBay? Then She Hawk, we're looking at the same price, three bucks. And then here we got the second um, Deadpool variant of it. So this I will have graded, which would be a lot more. Um, just as is as as this is right now, you're looking at about eighteen dollars on the very low end right, for this one, because it's the second appearance of Deadpool. Now the Swamp, okay, the Man Thing. I always thought it was the Swamp Thing, but the Man Thing we're looking at uh, five bucks for this one in its current condition. The Fallen Angels. Uh, I can't remember what that one was. Uh, four bucks. For this one, four bucks. Uh, Nick Fury, the agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, his number was uh, number 46. Uh, we're looking at a whopping four bucks. And here, Sinestro, we're looking at uh, 250 for this one. One of the spiders. Now the West Coast Avengers, five bucks. Now this is all on the low, low side of the eBay. All right, um, Ghost Rider, one of the snakes. I thought this was pretty cool, but it's not worth much. It's only worth two bucks. Right. And of course we got um, Squadron Supreme. This one, we're looking at uh, a dollar. Now this one, without the signature, I, I can't find out where the signature is selling on eBay. But without the signature, you're looking at about, on the low end, it was five point five dollars and twenty cents. But with a signature, it will bring it up. Um, as soon as I find out what, what the signature will be, most likely I might get this graded. I might depends on how much it is, or how much it would bring. So, that's that. That brings a, um, for the second second one, at the low end, this is at the low end, not the high end, uh, it's $72.70. It's not bad, especially when I only bought it for $35. Right? Uh, for, for, for both boxes, which cost me $70, I'm looking at 140.95, so I doubled my money, which is a good deal, right? Uh, a good deal, very good deal. So I will have the Wolverine. I will have a few of them graded, so that, that's a given. I will have them graded, and I was pretty completely impressed. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, also got a sticker, so. Uh, this was the silverback graphics uh, from eBay that I bought it from. Um, the version that we're currently on, that he's on right now, is version five. So he's been doing it multiple times. So this is five to one through. Uh, I believe there's still a few left on this first run of version five. I think he had when I just looked. It was uh, let me just look real quick. Five five. We're looking at. And go back one, go back to the last one. He has four more left. No, he has nine available. And he sold 11. Yeah. All right, so let's do a few in there. So, oh, I don't know. I'm impressed. It was, it was a good deal. Um, so, 
So I will have to work on getting these taken care of their way um, since I have a lot of comics. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this wasn't too long, um, but it was interesting. Uh, this is the first time, so I was impressed. All right. I will see you all next time.